display. The Samsung Galaxy A8 packs a 5.6-inch Full HD Super AMOLED display with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio and 1080 by 2220 resolution. While it doesn't have the same curved edges as the flagship S8, the Galaxy A8 still utilizes Samsung's Infinity Display technology, which helps keep bezels in check. They could be slimmer though, and looking at the edge-to-edge -edge screen Sony has put on the new Xperia X82 and Xperia XA2 Ultra, it feels like there's more room for improvement here. It's bright, colorful and punchy, making it great for movie marathons and lengthy gaming sessions. The rounded corners of the display are reminiscent of the LG G6, and slightly confuses the look front on as it's almost a hybrid between Samsung's and LG's design language. Camera. The Samsung Galaxy A8 features three cameras. There's a single 16MP, f.1.7 snapper on the back, while on the front you'll find both a 16MP camera alongside an 8MP sensor. Fiercely. The rear camera is a solid offering that's capable of snapping detailed shots, even in the low light of our test environment. We were able to capture detailed, well-lit shots in a variety of lighting and scene scenarios, with auto mode doing a good job of judging our surroundings and tweaking the necessary settings. On the front, and the two cameras work together to offer the blurred background effect that Samsung's calls live focus. It was first introduced on the Galaxy S8, and it's good to see the technology cascading down the price tiers. Live focus on the front-facing dual cameras works well in good light, but on the dimly lit casino floor, when in Vegas, it struggled to pick us out from the background and properly render the background blur effect.